friends, I'm back today with another video because I wanted to chat to you guys about my current Hermes collection. It's very small. And what Hermes items are on my wish list. So if you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Maystar and I do videos about luxury fashion, lifestyle, travel, and I also vlog about my daily life following my music career and just the stuff I like to do. Firstly, I just want to say that I have definitely worn these items for many years, but I just thought it'd be cute to put them in their boxes because who doesn't love a juicy orange Hermes box? So the first item I would like to show you guys is something that I got actually second hand. And I think it was my first ever Hermes item. I still love it till today. I don't use it often, but I keep it for sentimentality and just to remember where I've come from in my Hermes journey. So this here is the Hermes Happy bracelet. It is super cute. As you can see, it's like really, really long as well. And it has the iconic H as a buckle. This bracelet is meant to go around the wrist a few times. Now my wrist is super, super small. And so for me, I think it goes around, let me see, one, two, three, four times. This used to be so in fashion back in the day where the Balenciaga Tour bracelet was really popular and all the Hermes Click H bracelets were super popular. So I thought a really cool way to buy into Hermes was to get this item. And I got it from a Japanese store on eBay, it came with full authenticity and it was, I believe, about $90 to buy secondhand. So if you can imagine how excited I was to get my first Hermes item, even though it was so small, it meant a lot. So the leather is still beautiful. It's still in wonderful condition. I don't know if you can see. It does have a really cute Hermes Paris stamp on the leather as well. It just goes to show how well Hermes leather items are made and considering this is a vintage item, it is in such good condition. Funnily enough, I found another bracelet like this but in brown leather in Japan when I was shopping at a second hand store and I bought it because I thought it oh, was such a good bargain, I think it was $50. I ended up giving that to my dad, his name starts with the letter H so I thought it would be really appropriate. As a gift for him. So that was my first item. I don't currently have any jewellery items on my Hermes wish list. However, I'm always open to adding new items on my wish list. I have seen earrings that I thought would be kind of cool. It has the Hermes lock on them, but I haven't been to a store yet to see them in person, so I'm not too sure if they will go with my aesthetic, but they might be included on the wish list. The next item I'd like to show you is something that, in my opinion, I think every woman should own in their collection. Whether it be an Hermes one or whether it be another brand. And this is the iconic Hermes scarf. Ugh, I still love this scarf so much. I'm not really one for the colourful, beautiful scarves that Hermes is known for. So it took me a while to find a scarf that suited my style and that I would wear. And this is of course in black, grey with a pop of yellow. I love this scarf so much still. I don't know if you can capture this on camera, but it actually is designed like those little toys we used to play with as kids. There's an H right there as you can see as well and the beautiful rolled edges that all Hermes scarves are quite well known for. I have used this scarf in so many ways. I'll insert some pictures for you if I can find them of the many ways I've worn this scarf. I've even turned it into a small tote bag when I was traveling in Malaysia. I've worn it as a top. I wear it as a scarf around my neck. This is truly a versatile piece that I believe if you want to get your hands on an Hermes piece for a special occasion to treat yourself and for something to maybe even pass on, a scarf is the way to go. In person, if you see this, you'll realize how amazing these artisans are that create this as well. 
Let me look at the receipt for you to remind myself when I bought it, where I bought it, and how much I purchased it for. So this was purchased, wow, in 2013. Jeez, that's nine years ago. <laughs> and it's still in amazing condition. It was purchased in Singapore at the Neon City store. And it was purchased for 630 Singapore dollars. That is amazing. I'll try to find out how much scarves cost now. And if I can find a similar one that is sort of black gray and you know, more neutral, I'll add that in the description below. I love this scarf so much and I'm so glad to have it in my collection. In saying that, I don't have any scarves in my current Hermes wish list, but it's not to say that if I see one that I love that I wouldn't purchase it. What a great buy. This item that I'm about to show you, I was actually thinking about selling. Even though it's an item that is classic, I just think I bought the wrong color. Let me know what you think once I show this to you. And this item is the classic Hermes Oran sandal. As I mentioned at the start of the video, I have worn these before. I just wanted to put them in the box because I just love opening the boxes. So these Oran sandals, let me refresh my memory. So these Oran sandals were purchased in 2017 at the Neon City store in Singapore for $840 and they are in the Hermes gold color which if I were to describe that color to you would be a nude brown. I love the Oran sandal, I love the design, I love how soft they are, the leather is just lovely but I think that if I just bought black I probably would have had more use out of them. I have taken them to a professional to resole the fronts as when I was walking around with them they were just super slippery and I needed something with a bit of grip. Sorry it's a bit dirty. These here are a size 36 and a half which is my true to size and I haven't had any issues with them hurting or giving me blisters but in saying that, I haven't worn them a lot either. This is why I was thinking that I should just possibly move them on and sell them and then put that money towards another pair. Which then also leads me to a couple of items that I would really love that are on my current Hermes wish list. So I have three sandals on my current Hermes wish list that I would really love to get. I don't know if I want all three, but I love all three. I definitely have to go into a store, try them on to see if they suit me, and of course, make the right decision on color. The first sandal that I want on my wish list is the Empire sandal. It's like a really casual platform slipper, and I really like it because it has the Hermes Kelly buckle on top. I don't know how much it will suit me, and I don't know how comfortable it will be, but I definitely like the look of that. I would much prefer it in a black, like all black, but the white and black looks great as well. The second pair of sandals on my wish list is of course the ever popular Shipway sandals. Now these are so popular that I barely see them online and even when I've asked for them at stores, they're always sold out. They are a very dad style sandal. So my thought is they are very nice, but how long will this style be popular? This is something that I definitely have to try in store. I was actually really excited to see the shirling covered ship rays. I know it's kind of weird to have a sandal, which is a summertime thing, but also shirling on it, which is a wintertime thing. But I really like the juxtaposition of that. If they came up with more colors of the shirling, maybe in black or maybe in green, I would definitely consider them as well. And lastly, another sandal that's on my wish list would be an Oran sandal, very much the same as the one I've just shown you, except in black or green and black. I've learned my lesson that even though these are beautiful and they look beautifully nude on my feet, this is not a color that I have in my wardrobe at all. I don't wear browns and neutrals very often. I'm more a black, gray, pop of color kind of girl. And I think that getting the right sandal in the right color will ensure that you'll get the most use out of it. And last but not least is my only leather goods item 
that I've ever been able to get from Evans. This beauty is something that was on my luxury wish list for the longest. It is definitely something that's not really in fashion anymore or it's definitely not a popular silhouette but I still love it, I still wear it and because I bought an Hermes version of it, I've never looked elsewhere for a similar style. This is the beautiful Hermes Gigé Clutch. Gigé? Gigé? I'm sorry, I'll put the name in the description. I'm not the best at pronouncing French words. I'll get better. This is her in all her glory. There was a time where the Hermes Gigé Clutch was so popular. It was seen on all the bloggers and in fashion weeks and it was just the hot clutch of the moment. I still wear it. I used it in Singapore as well and it is my go-to clutch whenever I go to any fancier type events or events where I need more of just a sleek stylish option. Because I bought this clutch, I have never looked for another clutch. It's like I got the best clutch in the world and I don't need any more clutches. I used to joke that this here is just basically a piece of leather that's sewn because it is. It really is just a beautiful piece of leather that has been wonderfully created into a clutch. Now let me read the receipt to remind myself when I bought this, how I got it and how much it costs. So I know for a fact that I bought this online um, at Hermes.com because I live in Perth and there are no Hermes stores here. The Gigi Elan 29 clutch in black swift calfskin. I do wish that I had the opportunity to purchase this in a more hard wearing leather like Epson or Togo but this is still beautiful. I am very, very scared to scratch it any time that I use it, but I'm also very careful with my bag. So to me, it doesn't really make or break how much I love this bag. I purchased it in, where's the date? 2014. And I purchased it for 3,970 Australian dollars. I do remember how I got this and it was a really cool experience to deal with Hermes being from Perth, I called the store, I think I called the Sydney store, and I asked how I would go about getting a Gigi Clutch. And they were so kind and actually took down my number saying that if there ever was one that came in, that they would give me a call. I was a little bit disbelieving because, you know, I'm from Perth, they probably have a lot of customers that live in Sydney. But I believe it was a few months after my call, I got a missed call from this random number and I don't normally pick up random numbers, but I called them back and it was the Hermes Sydney store telling me that there was a Gigi Elan clutch in black, which is the color that I wanted, and it would be going up online in five minutes. If I really wanted it, I was to go online, purchase immediately, and they will send it all to me. And that's exactly what I did. In a hurry, I called Mike and I was like, I've got to get this clutch, I'm going to do it, and I'm going to pop. And he, as usual, was very, very supportive. I think it got delivered to me in less than a week, very safely. I had no issues with buying on Hermes.com, and it was really nice as well to have that sort of help from an actual store to tell me when things were online for me to purchase. That's not the case anymore as what I feel. I mean, this was my first and last purchase from the Hermes Sydney store, even though, as you know, I buy a lot from the Singapore stores as well. I possibly would like to purchase more from that store, but I just haven't been to Sydney in over 10 years. Looking at this now, I still love it. I would never sell it. The last time I saw this online, I do believe it was around $5,000, maybe $4,900. I can't really remember. I never see this online anymore. If I can find a similar one secondhand, I'll put it in the description for you. I hope clutches are coming back as well, because man, I would love to rock this with so many outfits. The leather is still so beautiful. It is in such good condition and 
I love it so much. So with that, I want to share with you guys some of the leather items on my current Hermes wish list. I just also want to say that I don't actually have an official wish list at an Hermes store. This is just my current wish list that I hope to get one day from Hermes. As you may have seen from my previous Singapore haul, I wanted to purchase a Constant Slim wallet with a matching belt in noir or in dark grey. Unfortunately, I was rejected. If you haven't watched that video, I'll leave a link to it below. This is still on my wish list. I would still love to style it as a crossbody belt bag or even as a normal belt bag around the waist. I won't go into it too much because I've already spoken about it in my previous video. So let me move on to my next item that I would love. And this is, of course, the grailed item, the item that I would just be so grateful to get, which is an Hermes Kelly bag. The colors that I want would be in the darkest of greens or in the green, blue or dark grey palette. Now some of you may ask, May, why don't you just buy a black bag or even a brown bag that will go with everything? I have so many black classic bags like my Chanel, my Louis Vuitton. I don't need another black bag. I would just really love to have something that's a little bit different, that is so, so dark, that maybe it looks black from afar, but when it comes close, it has that point of interest of being a different color. So the color that I want, I'll put it up on screen for you. I believe it's the Vert Fonts. Once again, I'm not too sure if I'm pronouncing it well. I don't know if this color is even made anymore. That's the kind of vibe I'm going for. Something super, super dark that it looks like black from afar, but it's so interesting from close up. I'm also flexible with the size of the bag that I want. It could be anything from a 28 to a 32. Even if it's slightly smaller than a 28, I'll be fine, but I'm not gonna go anything above a 32 because I am quite small. I'm unsure how a big bag will look on me. Granted, I've never seen these in person as well before, so you never know. I might go larger than 30, but I really would like to see them in person. Now, this goes into how the hell am I going to get an Hermes bag? I don't live in a state that has an Hermes store, so I'm unable to form relationships with sales associates. The Singapore stores are so busy with so many tourists and so many of their own customers that it will be quite challenging to get a bag from that store considering I couldn't even get a wallet. And lastly, I don't go to Sydney or Melbourne enough to purchase items from their Hermes stores and create a purchase history from them. My only hope is, okay, so Mike and I are planning to go to Paris I'm not too sure if we're going to go this year or next year, but it's definitely in the cars. So my only hope is that I am able to travel to Paris and get an Hermes leather appointment to purchase a bag and a wallet. There's this whole process of how to get an Hermes leather appointment via their online lottery system. What I'll do is I'll link a video that I found so informative by Alyssa Lenore, who is a luxury vlogger. She goes through how she got an appointment online, what the experience was when she got to the store and what items she was offered. So yeah, that's my hope for getting my bag in the future. If I go to Tokyo, I will be also visiting an Hermes store to ask if I can get any of the items on my wish list. But you never know, I like visiting all Hermes stores on any of my travels just to see the items they have and just to appreciate the items face to face. I definitely would like to look at more ready to wear as well. I've seen a pair of pants that I thought were phenomenal. So you never know, my wish list might grow or I might finally get the items on my wish list. I just want to thank you guys for spending time with me today and watching this video and feel free to message me or DM me if you have any questions about the items that I currently own or the items on my wish list. I'm always excited to talk to you guys about luxury fashion and really, really happy to be a part of that community.
Thank you once again for watching and please click like and subscribe for more videos. I'll see you in my next video. Bye friend friends!